We're going to now begin studying graphing linear equations on the rectangular coordinate system. Before we do that, I'd like to describe the rectangular coordinate system, which is shown here. Um, and then I'd like to just uh, take some data and put it into an equation, put in a, a value for x and a value for y into a linear equation to see if it works. First of all, I'd like you to know that in what's called the rectangular coordinate system, this um, line right here is called the x-axis, and this line right here is called the y-axis. The point where they intersect right here is called the origin, and that point is where x is 0 and y is 0. N next, I'm going to write an ordered pair and show you where it's located in the rectangular coordinate system, and I'm going to put that value, I'm going to put it over here, a um, little bit concerned about lighting here. That is called an ordered pair, and the first value in the ordered pair, which is 3, says that I would like to represent on the rect rectangular coordinate system an x value of 3. The second value in the ordered pair represents y, and so I would like to rep represent in the rectangular coordinate system a y value of 4. In this area right over here, which is called the first quadrant, that is the location where both x and y are both positive. So if I want to locate this ordered pair in the rectangular coordinate system, I start at the origin at 0, 0, and in the x direction I want to go a positive 3 units, which is to the right. So I go 1, 2, 3 units, and in the y direction I want to go a positive 4 units. So I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and I put a dot there representing that ordered pair. Sometimes I might even represent it by a letter. I might say that this is ordered pair called A, and I'll mark it on the rectangular coordinate system as A. If I'd like to graph an ordered pair that's called a negative 2 comma 6, again, this means my x value is a negative 2 and my y value is a positive 6. And so from the origin, I should go to the left to a negative 2 and then go up a positive 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is my next ordered pair that I plotted. And let's say I call that point B, I would maybe label it then point B, in what is called the second quadrant in the rectangular coordinate system. So my first quadrant is in the upper right corner, and then I go around counterclockwise to call these by their names, the first, second, third, and fourth quadrants. If I wanted to plot ordered pair, I'll call it C, who has an x value of a negative 4 and a y value of a negative 5. Then from the origin, I would go to the left, a negative 4, and then I would go down 5, and I'd put that point and call it point C in what is called the third quadrant. And then finally, let's say that I wanted to plot the ordered pair where x is 1 and y is a negative 4, and I'll call that point D. In the x direction, I would go a positive 1 from the origin. In the y direction, I would go down 4, or a negative 4. So I'd go over a positive 1 and down 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'd plot that ordered pair and call it point D. And that one is in the fourth quadrant of the rectangular coordinate system. So first of all, you need to be able to plot ordered pairs in order to graph a linear equation. Um, which is the graph of a straight line. Before we go there, that'll be um, our next segment. Before we do that, I'd like to share a couple other points with you. And so, to head in that direction, what I'm going to be asking you is, let's say you have this linear equation, y equals 2x plus 5. And what I ask you to do is find out if the ordered pair where x is 1 and y is 7 is a solution to this linear equation. What you would do is right here where you see x, you would put in a value of 1, and right here where you see y, you would put in a value of 7 to see if that ordered pair works in this equation. Let's try it. So I put in 7 for y, then I'll have 2 times 1, plus 5, and I use order of operations over here, which means to multiply first, 2 times 1 is 2, and then now I should add on the right side, and I do indeed have a, a true statement, and so I can say yes, 
When x is 1 and y is 7, that is a good ordered pair for this equation, this linear equation. What I need you to know is that there is an infinite number of ordered pairs, not just one that works. And what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, three ordered pairs that works in any one equation and connect the dots on the rectangular coordinate system to see the straight line that results because they are called linear equations. It will be a straight line. So we're going to be finding ordered pairs that work. Um, let me just share one more example with you. I might say to you, um, here's another linear equation, 2x plus 3y equals 12, and I might say to you, is 4 comma 2 a solution to this linear equation? So where you see x, I'd like you to put in a 4, and where you see y, I'd like you to put in a 2. So I'll have this 2x in front, so 2 times 4 plus the 3y, and y is 2, and I'm wondering if that's a true statement. So order of operations says to multiply before you add. And then on the left-hand side, I'll finish the addition, and I get a statement that says 14 is equal to 12, which is not true. And so you would say to me, no, this is not a solution to this particular linear equation. There are many. I just didn't have one that, that worked. I'm going to uh, pause now at this point, and we're going to come back in our next segment, and we're going to graph linear equations by picking values for x, substituting them into the equation to find out what y would have to be equal to for it to be true, and then plotting three ordered pairs to graph a straight line.